Hey guys, what's going on? James here, back with GetOnStream.com. And in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you the best OBS Studio settings for a low-end PC so that you can have a high-quality stream that doesn't lag, jitter, or give you any blurriness on stream. I'm gonna go through this in a no BS guide, just giving you the exact settings that you need to set up. If you do wanna learn more about like why we choose what settings that we do, Make sure and check out the article below in the description. But let's jump into this, get through it as fast as possible so that you can get to streaming. If you do enjoy the video, please do hit that subscribe button, hit like and help us out here on the channel. It's greatly appreciated. But let's jump into OBS and take a look at exactly what we need to change. So I'm now inside OBS and there's a couple of things that we want to do. We want to come up here to file, come into settings and there's two tabs here that we're going to be mainly looking at. One is output and one is video. I'm going to be choosing video first. In this video tab right here we have a base canvas resolution that is essentially this screen right here that's where you're going to put your gameplay and your video capture all of that stuff we're going to be putting that to 1280 by 720p so you can just come in here select 1280 by 720 and our output scaled resolution is the resolution that we're going to send to twitch so people are going to be able to watch in 720p for our stream so i'm going to set this to 1280 by 720 as well for our downscale filter if both of these is the same the base and output resolution if these are the same we want to set this to bilinear and that's going to give us the fastest possible processing however if you find that in 1280 by 720p you're still lagging your computer performance is hindered what you can do is come up here and select 852 by 480. I would not recommend going any lower than that. If you go any lower than 480p, it's gonna look terrible. It's not up to scratch in 2021. So if you do select these and both of these resolutions are different, you wanna select by cubic here and that will help with the scaling and increase performance. However, I'm gonna start with 1280 by 720p. That's where I would start if I was you until you figure out whether or not you're still lagging at this level. If you are, then bump it down to 480. So I'm gonna select bilinear as these are the same and our FPS values are going to be 30 frames per second. Next up is our output settings. So in here, what we wanna do is select output mode to advance. That's gonna give us some more options to play with. When you look here in streaming, there's gonna be encoder and there's gonna be two options in here if you are using an NVIDIA graphics card. So there's two different options depending on your PC. If you do have a newer NVIDIA graphics card that is NVENC enabled, I would definitely recommend using this NVIDIA NVENC setting here. That is gonna use your GPU to process your stream. If you don't have that, you're gonna be using software times 264, which is using your CPU to actually go ahead and encode your stream. So most people probably with a low end PC, you're probably gonna have an older NVIDIA card or an AMD card. So you're probably gonna be using software times 264. If that is the case, these are the settings that you should set up. First thing I would do is rescale output to our 720p that we're streaming in. Our rate control is gonna stay at CBR. We're gonna set our bit rate to 3000 initially. If you find that your stream is struggling and dropping frames, then go ahead and drop this down in 500 increments until it stops dropping them frames. Somewhere in between 2000 and 3000 is probably good for a low end PC. We also wanna come down here and set our CPU usage preset to very fast. And that is all the settings that we need to adjust. You just then go ahead, apply these settings and you should be good to go. You should have a pretty smooth stream that looks good. It's not lagging and everything is running smooth. If you do have a newer NVENC graphics card, then I would recommend coming up here using NVIDIA NVENC as your encoder. We're gonna keep that output to 1280 by 720. Our rate control is still gonna be CBR. We're gonna increase this to 3000 kilobytes per second. Our presets here should be set to performance and that's gonna give us the best possible performance out of our machine. It might sacrifice a little bit of quality, but that's fine. We're then gonna go ahead and set our profile to main. We want look ahead to be on select. We want psycho visual tuning to be selected, GPU zero and max B frames to two. And then go ahead again, apply those settings and you should be good to go and stream in OBS with high quality settings on a low end PC. Obviously, if your PC is just an absolutely terrible PC, you may have some issues with this, but if you've any sort of machine that can handle streaming, these are the settings you're gonna to use to get the most out of it. So hopefully this video has helped you. If it has, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps out here on the channel. We're trying to hit over 200 likes on this video. Hit subscribe if you're new here. That's it for this video. If you do wanna see more streaming tutorials and videos, check out some of these ones on the screen right now. And if you do wanna see more tutorials, head over to getonstream.com and learn more about streaming.